Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be doing a quick news update for Global Dokkan Battle. We have a couple of different things that have been released over the well, over the past day, and we're going to go ahead and talk about them. So first off, Google Play gift card campaign is now on. When you buy or purchase a $25 Google gift, uh, gift card, a Google Play gift card, you will get a $5 towards Dokkan Battle. So you buy $25, you get five. I don't think it's worth it in my opinion, but if you're gonna spend the money, you might as well just get the extra bonus out of it. There are a whole bunch of other things that you can do. Um, I know DFree had a video that he put up a few months ago. I think it's like four or five months ago maybe, uh, but all the things you can do to get credits towards Google Play so that way you can actually get stuff for free when you go and buy uh, Dragonstone packs. Uh, if you go ahead and check out the video, I, I don't have it. I can't link it down in the description, but I know he added up on one of his uh, things. It's, it's essentially all you have to do is answer ads, advertisements, um, polls, and things like that, surveys, and you get money from Google um, or any of the vendors on Google Play Market, and they give you money towards Google Play purchases, and you can do that to get your in-app purchases if you like to. Uh, I might, I may do a video about that. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see something like that. Otherwise, um, at some point, I'll go and find that D free video, and I'll go ahead and update this video with the link down in the description. If you guys happen to know which one it is, please leave it in the comments, and I'll go ahead and uh, add it. Uh, anyway, the next one we're going to talk about is the fight against despair event is now on. Now, usually this isn't a big deal because it's just garbage, but we have all the new information. First off, um, which I'm going to be talking about, that Vegeta gets his Doken Awakening, which is one thing I'm going to be talking about for this. And this Trunks right here, the one that gets Doken Awakened, he now has an additional Doken Awakening. So if you didn't grind out the base form Crying Trunks, the one that goes into a Super Saiyan, uh, now is definitely the time to grind them out. I would recommend to at least get him to Super Attack 10. Uh, if you don't want to do the full grind to get all four dew pads unlocked, at least do the bottom right, and if you have the time, the top left. Uh, those are the two most important ones. Uh, for instance, with the LR Vegito Blue, I only plan on doing the bottom right and top left, which I already did. Uh, now I'm just need to grind them up to Super Attack 10, and then I'm going to Doken Awaken him. I don't think that the top right and bottom left are really worth it in all, at all, in my opinion, uh, unless it's like, you know, a summonable unit. Free-to-play units I usually will, won't do all that with. It's because it's a waste of orbs, and you don't get that much of a buff. I think majority of your buff, like, I think it's like something like 70% of the of the buff, or 75% of the buff comes from the bottom right and top left. There was a Reddit post about that. I'll, I'm going to talk about that one day when I go over the full dupe system. Um, anyway, he will Doken Awake, and he becomes pretty viable as a free-to-play unit. You guys will definitely want to run him, plus he has Fierce Battle. Nothing else has really changed on this event, so you have the basic stuff. Uh, stage 5 is where you're going to grind out the trunks. Stage 7 is the Vegeta Medals. Um, I went over this yesterday as well, uh, so you can go ahead and do that. And because this is here, go ahead and grind out Stage 2 for some of those Gravity Chambers. Uh, you're going to want them in order for um, in order for you to help out with the training. Uh, you could also do the Android Medals if you want to for Doken Awakening them. Uh, and you're going to need, well, you're going to need all of them anyway for all the Doken Awakenings. If you're doing the, the actual uh, Trunks in order to get him Doken Awakened. Uh, the next one we're going to talk about is the new Time Attack Missions. We now have Time Attack Missions, and in order to Doken Awaken the Vegeta and the, the Goku cards, two of them which i'm going to talk about in a second you're going to need to complete this because you need the nimbus medals in order to doken awaken them now i don't have any gameplay up as of right now i'll possibly do some gameplay because it shouldn't be too long it shouldn't be too hard um, i'll go ahead and po post some gameplay up of me doing the time attack you're going to go ahead and do that right now you're going to doken awaken these two there are other cards that doken awaken with these medals we're not going to talk about them here but that's what is going to be available right now honestly uh, neither of these guys are really too crazy um the Goku is really cool, so if you guys don't have any, I'd probably recommend doing the Goku card first if you don't have anything for a hero strength team. And that's specifically because he does attack plus 90%. I mean, his the fact that he survives knockout attacks when HP is 20% or above, that's pretty cool. I, I, that is awesome. I like that. But that mechanic, it doesn't really come into play uh, in-game. Uh, it can now, just because 20% is, you know, when you're over 20%, if he's there and he gets killed, or almost killed, he'll only, you'll have one HP when you're done. But, like, unless you get really lucky and it's the last attack, that mechanic is just really outdated, so it's just whatever. But th now he gets the attack plus 90%, so that's awesome. Vegeta, I believe, is a support unit, so let's go ahead and talk about it. So this is him. This is the one that we're, that, that you're going to look for. This is the Vegeta. He's the one that, that's really whacked and no one really likes. He does. He's an SSR. He did extreme damage. He was a specific type of HP and attack plus 30%, which, by you know, that, that's not horrible because at least the HP and attack was the two buffs that everyone worried about. And he gives everyone key that's agility and physical. Um, unfortunately, he didn't have prepared for a battle, which held him back. Um, but he did have a farmable super attack, which I never really got him up to super attack 10. But you can farm, you can farm up his super attack from the hero extermination plan with this strength Vegeta. 
Um, let's go take a look real quick. This Vegeta is available on stage 12, Unstoppable Parent and Child. That's a pain in the butt to grind out in order for you to get the, all those up, you know, so that way you can get him up to Super Attack 10. You don't have to do it. He's also just a support unit, so it's not like you're going to need him at Super Attack 10. But if you want to do that, that is how you do it. Uh, when he Doken awakens, he becomes a lot more viable. Agility, strength, and physical type key plus 2. Attack and defense was 25%. So he's a little bit more viable, and now he gives agility, strength, and physical type key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 40%. So overall, he's not a horrible leader for brand new players. Um, you're not going to run him as your primary leader if you have like a 120 leader or something like that. But he at least will help you out when you're first starting out as a, as a minor rainbow leader. Yes, he does not have what intelligence and technique, but it's not horrible because you have three types that are strong against another type. Um, the other thing is his super attack was upgraded to supreme damage and he raises his own attack for 9 turns so he'll at least be doing some damage after time if you don't keep him off of primary rotation or if you keep him on primary rotation so that way he's not rotating off. Uh, he still didn't get prepared for battle but he has shattering the limit which can be useful because there's a lot of shattering the limit agility units um, and I mean he's still kind of meh. Uh, he raises attack for 9 turns his 30% boost is about a 30% boost so uh, that's not horrible. I mean, nine times three is 270 percent total uh, overall. But I mean, again, he's not really meant for damage dealing. He's more meant for being support. So even as um, a unit, if you guys don't have support for mono agility, he'll come in handy for you there. Remember, he's also super, so it'll be a super saiyan four Vegeta team. The other one is going to be this Goku. This is the Pinnacle of Rage Goku. Uh, I, I, this was a cool card when he first came out. Everyone wanted him because it was just like a, the epitome of the. Uh, Frieza and Goku fight. That's what this was over here. It was just awesome. He's part of the Namek Saga. Uh, overall, not a great unit, just because he, the only mechanic that he had was that HP is 30% or above, which you needed to line up and get exactly right. Um, he's another one you could have uh, increased the super tech. I still have a whole bunch of these. That's the last instant transmission, Super Saiyan Goku. These are the ones from the crossover campaign when that was available. No one knows if this is ever going to come out again. No, I don't think it is personally. But this was available there, and I grinded a whole bunch of them, and I got about the Super Attack 10. Other than that, standard methods for increasing Goku Super Attack. You could either grind out the uh, the free to play first starter pack Goku, the one that uh, the one that came from the event. You have to Doken Awaken like three times in order to get him to where you want him to be. <laughs> Actually, let me go back to because it's going to be a pain in the butt to hit the back button. Um, yeah, he's the one. So yeah, the Messenger of the World Goku. He's the one who Doken Awakens from Overflowing Resolve. That's when you get from the epic uh, showdown event. You Doken Awaken him to here with the angel, and you Doken Awaken him one more time to Super Saiyan. And once you do that, then you're all set. Then you can feed it in in order to get a super attack up if you plan on doing something like that. Um, overall, it's not a requirement, but he will Doken Awaken. I would recommend doing Super Attack 10 because his passive ability is 90%. He Doken Awakens into Zealous Roar Super Saiyan Goku. Leader ability, agility, tech, and strength type key plus 2, HP, attack, and defense plus 40%. Not horrible. Um, again, starter uh, for starters, for people who are just starting out, he's going to be good. Uh, super attack, angry Kamehameha, greatly raises attack for one turn and causes supreme damage. So he does supreme damage, greatly raises attack, and has a 90% attack buff. Uh, so I recommend going full crit on him if you're looking at your dupe system information. Definitely full crit Vegeta. I mean, he's he's a support unit. Um, he raises attack, so probably doubles. I would definitely do additional attacks on him. Just because he continues to raise his attack for 9 turns, if you get a double super attack, you get a double raise. You know what I mean? Um, overall, that's about it. He does have prepared for battle and shattering the limits, which is freaking awesome. Uh, his 12 key multiplier is only 135%, but greatly raises attack for 1 turn. is a 50% um, added bonus to his super attack multiplier, so that's not horrible at all. He's a really good unit, honestly. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, he is going. He's like border S tier when it comes to this, and that's really because... He has the farmable super attack, a 90% passive skill, greatly raises attack, so like, he's better than any of the attack plus 100%, and we, it, it's a kind of a community standard to give the S tier status to units that are like attack plus 100% with supreme damage, and the fact that he greatly raises attack with a 90% buff, that just makes him really good, he makes him really hard hitter. Uh, his link skills are still really decent as well, Golden Warrior. Same Warrior Ace is still whack, but Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, that's pretty standard. Z Fighters, which I know it's not as common. Um, the Ultimate Gohan has it. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure that Ultimate Gohan has it. He has Prepared for Battle and Shattering the Limit. So the only thing that's really, really holding him back completely would be Fierce Battle. I really wish he had that. I mean, he does Doken Awaken with, uh, I believe, the, uh, the the Emperor Frieza medals. Uh, let's see over here. Is that the Emperor, the, the, free, oh, the, the Emperor of the Universe medals? So yeah, he should have, in my opinion, gotten Fierce Battle because he's Doken Awakening with those. But uh, you can't win. You can't win them all. 
Um, yeah, this is with the Z Fighter's Link skill also, so I, I'm pretty sure that Ultimate Gohan, yeah, he does have it. So that Ultimate Gohan has it, this Goku, if you have the Spirit Bomb Goku, and this Extreme Z Awakening Gohan, which isn't on the global side yet, has it. Uh, but yeah, overall, he's a really good unit, and you know, don't knock him. I really think you should focus on him with those Nimbus medals. I would go for him first. Um, I also want to talk about the hope of fight against Despair event, just because this is where the Trunks is. Trunks is available on Stage 5. Should have probably went over this in the beginning. Stage 5 is Trunks. All the medals are here. Um, and yeah, this whole event, everything has something useful on it. I know I already, actually, I kind of really touched base on dbz.space. By, by the way, shout out to dbz.space and shout out to the wiki. Um, yeah, that's where everything is right now for her, all those medals. Uh, the Trunks is going to be available here, so you're going to get, you're going to grind out Trunks. Where are you? From level 5. Um, that's this Trunks over here. This is his new Doken Awakening. He'll Doken Awaken. This is normal. He Doken Awakens with 10, 17, t uh, 8, 18, 10 Vegeta, 10 Cell, and 8 Gohan medals. That's all available from this event, so go ahead and grind that out for all those. The Android medals are kind of a pain in the butt to get, but you'll get them eventually. He Doken Awakens into this hardcore guy, and I already said that at least the bottom right top, top left do path unlock. He Doken Awakens with the Trunks medals from the uh, actual event. Uh, the Miracle Sword of Light event. So you can go ahead and get those. You only need 35 in order for you to Doken Awaken him. So go ahead and do that. Get him Doken Awaken. He, he's not a horrible free-to-play unit. Uh, his leader ability is okay, I guess, for brand new players who don't have any leaders. Intelligence type is HP, attack, and defense plus 70%. So that's a really nice buff for free-to-play. Unfortunately, no key. Super attack, supreme damage, passive skill, 70% when facing two or fewer enemies. So any Doken event. Link skills, Golden Warrior, Saiyan Lineage, Super Saiyan, Royal Lineage, Prepared for Battle, Dismal Future, and Fierce Battle. So, he has Fierce Battle, Super Saiyan, Prepared for Battle, and Golden Warrior. Those are the most common ones for him. He's part of the Hybrid Saiyan category. Stats are kind of eh. And 12 key multiplier of 130%. For a free-to-play card, he's good. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's not going to be one of the best ones you could actually run in-game. The Universe Revival Saga has the new levels added on. Go ahead and grind it out. You have Stages 5 through 11 available. I'm happy about that Frieza. Um, I have to grind the rest of them out. I don't know when I'm going to do that. I'm going to have to do it at some point. Um, I already grinded out the rest of my stamina with quests because I'm going for them. I'm trying to get my LR Vegito blue. But, um, I, I've referenced... Urine is there. She's free to play. You can get her if you want to. She's just a different type of character. And there's not that many female characters in game. If you're looking for that, Ultimate Gohan. You can finally increase the super attack of all your Ultimate Gohans. Recommend doing that. Frieza, for those of you who did the Otherworld Tournament event and have that Angel Frieza, the Technique Angel Frieza. He will increase the super attack there, so I highly recommend getting him up to super attack 10. He's a really good unit. And then you can get this guy up to super attack 10, and then you can Doken Awaken him into the other Frieza, the Revival Frieza, Golden Form. Uh, if you want to get Dupaz unlocked of him, you can. I don't think he's worth it, in my opinion, to do that. You can if you want to. I don't really put anything into free-to-play units. I don't put dupes system into free-to-play units. But you can if you want to. Um, at least at the bottom right, top left, Dupaz unlocked. Also remember that the, that the Revival category is going to be coming out soon, should be coming out soon. So you're going to want to get nine of these ready for Doken Awakening if you plan on using him in order to feed into the super attack of that revived Golden uh, Angel Frieza. Anyway, um, last but not least, now this is the banner that we're going to be talking about and no more events. This is the Double Rates banner. This has the new uh, Go Goten and Trunks, uh, the LR Goten and Trunks. So you can go ahead and summon on it if you want to. Um, it also has the cards of the Goku and the Vegeta, the new ones that get their Doken Awakening and the new Goten and Trunks. Uh, not a horrible banner by, by any means. Uh, I, I personally am not going to be summoning on it. It's a double rage banner. I don't really summon on double rage banners for brand new players. You possibly would want to. I mean, this physical Gotenks is really good. The Super Saiyan physical Gotenks is one of the best units in game for physical teams. He's so diverse. Uh, the the two the Super Saiyan three Gotenks and the Super Saiyan Gotenks those are the two most diverse units in game because they fit on so many categories. So you could go ahead. I would recommend growing for him personally. Um, the rest of these units are kind of like you don't need them, but if you're a brand new player, I could see you needing some good SSRs. Uh, so overall, you can go ahead and do that if you want to. Uh, the Mighty Mask is here. If you happen to pull the Mighty Mask, that's the LR Goten and Trunks. Make sure to increase the super attack. You can do it from a strike event. But anyway, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you for tuning in. I hope this was all informative for you. I'm super hyped about all this new stuff. The, the one thing that I'm really going to be doing, uh, Universe Survival, I'm going to be getting that, that Angel Freeze. I want mine up to super attack 10, and I'm going to get him up to super attack 10. Outside of that... Um, I'll probably, I'm definitely going to be doing the event so that way I can get this Goku Doken Awakened. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you all later. Peace.